Hi, this is Grammy from Grammy and Grandpa Read, and today I have a book for you called The Paper Bag Princess. And this story is written by Robert Munch, and the art is done by Michael Marchenko. Elizabeth was a beautiful princess. She lived in a castle and had expensive princess clothes. She was going to marry a prince named Ronald. Unfortunately, a dragon smashed her castle, burned all of her clothes with his fiery breath and carried off Prince Ronald. Elizabeth decided to chase the dragon and get Ronald back. She looked everywhere for something to wear, but the only thing that she could find was that was not burnt was a paper bag. So she put it on, so she put on the paper bag and followed the dragon. He was easy to follow because he left a trail um, of burnt forest and horse bones. Finally, Elizabeth came to a cave with a large door that had a huge knocker on it. She took hold of the knocker and banged on the door and the dragon stuck his nose out the door and said, well, a princess, I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am very, a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. He slammed the door so fast that Elizabeth almost got her nose caught. Elizabeth grabbed the knocker and banged on the door again. The dragon stuck out his nose, his stuck his nose out the door and said, go away. I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I'm a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. Wait, shouted Elizabeth. Is it true that you're the smartest, fiercest dragon in the whole world? Yes, said the dragon. Is it true, said Elizabeth, that you can burn up 10 forests with your fiery breath? Oh, yes, said the dragon, and he took a huge, deep breath and, and breathed out so much fire that it burnt up 50 forests. Fantastic, said Elizabeth, and the dragon took another huge breath and breathed out so much fire that he burnt up 100 forests. Magnificent, said Elizabeth, and the dragon took another breath, but this time nothing came out. The dragon didn't even have enough fire left to cook a meatball. See, just like a poof. Elizabeth said to the dragon, Dragon, is it true that you fly around the world in 10 seconds? Why, yes, said the dragon and jumped up and flew all the way around the world in just 10 seconds. He was very tired when he got back, but Elizabeth shouted, fantastic, do it again. So the dragon jumped up and flew around the whole world in just 20 seconds. When he got back, he was too tired to talk and he laid down and went straight to sleep. Elizabeth whispered, whispered very softly, hey dragon, the dragon didn't move at all. She lifted up the dragon's ear and put her head right inside. She shouted as loud as she could, hey dragon. The dragon was so tired, he didn't even move. Elizabeth walked right over the dragon, opened up the door to the cave where Prince Ronald, and there was Prince Ronald. He looked at her and said, Elizabeth, you are a mess. You smell like ashes, your hair is tangled, and you are wearing a dirty old paper bag. Come back when you're dressed like a real princess. Ronald, said Elizabeth, your clothes are really pretty and your hair is very neat and you look like a real prince, but you are a bum. They didn't, they didn't get married after all. <laughs> she went and saved him, but he, he was mean to her and told her she didn't look like a princess. Oh, I bet that dragon woke up and taught him a lesson. <laughs> I hope you like this book and please subscribe to our channel.